It is after eight o'clock at night on Sunday, June 2nd. I forgot to vlog today. What have we done today that made me forget? A big giant pile of nothing. We didn't go anywhere, we didn't do anything. I literally sat my ass on the couch and crocheted all day in between doing a few chores. Can't say I'm mad about it. Speaking of which, so this is based on the same pattern I talked about previously, my brown sweater. I still have to do the ribbing around the armholes. In this one, I decided not to, when I was making the top, the yoke, to not attach it together in the center back. And instead, to, I still have ends to weave in, as you can tell, it's not done. Instead to do the ribbing around the neck and then down each side. And then of course on the bottom, and I'll do some on the armhole. Um, really like the way this one turned out. It's super cute, hold on. What do you think? It's a really cute sweater and I'll be able to wear it on spring days, even summer days when it's not like super hot, just like the other one, which I'm ha happy about. But anyway, yeah, it's a pretty cute shirt. All right, I guess I better stop crocheting now and maybe go do dishes. Maybe, I guess. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Monday, June 3rd. I almost said January. <laughs> I started at the, off the morning by finishing my sweater I was working on last night. I also put two um, eyelet holes in my new project bag that I made. Um, uh, see, like right there. So when I'm working on a project, especially if I'm traveling, um, but also if I'm downstairs, I can um, not have the yarn balls rolling all over the place. They can stay in the bag and I can have the yarn coming out one or two holes and be working on the project. And then if I need to put it down really quickly, I can just shove it back in here, close the zipper up part way, and we are good to go. Um, I think that's gonna actually be really nice. They sell knit and crochet bags that have that already on there, but I've got the eyelets. I have the tools. I'll just put one on there. Uh, the sweater that I finished, I need to still weave in all the threads and stuff, but we're gonna spend some time unraveling some thrifted sweaters. So I'm gonna film that and um, there'll be some talking about it. That's a separate video, but I'm gonna turn on some YouTube and get started. Okay, end of the day. Okay, that's a lie. Past end of the day. It's past 7.30, I think. And I've been up here all day. Still haven't woven in the ends on this, but I will. I do need to go downstairs and drink some chicken broth or something. I have been up here all day, uh, pulling apart <clears throat> thrifted sweaters and turning them into cakes of yarn and filming a little bit of it for you guys. Um, it is a long, as I just said on the video, long labor intensive process, but it is a fun process and it is a way to get some affordable, um, nice quality natural fiber yarns or yarn blend. You know, yarn's expensive, you guys, even acrylic. Um, it's also kind of a challenge because you come across a yarn and then you have to Try to make something. You don't have as free the freedom of picking a color and all that. Anyway, it's an interesting challenge. So anyway, I'm gonna go downstairs now. Drag all my stuff with me. I have not. Usually, I drink two of these a day. I haven't even had a whole one. So we need to work on that. Which means I'm gonna be up all night going to the bathroom. That's okay. <laughs> um, 
watch some TV, TV with the husband and work on weaving in those ends and starting a new sweater. So that's it for today. Tomorrow's babysitting day. Oh, that reminds me. I'm gonna turn the desktop on tonight. That way it's up and ready to go in the morning because I have to edit the vlog because I did not do that. And I guess I should sweep the floor before I go downstairs because it's a hot mess. <laughs> I'll be hey back. guys, I don't know if I said yet or not, but I got the video edited for the vlog and loaded and scheduled before Junior got here. That's him you can hear in the background. Um, it's a bad asthma and allergy day for me in case you can't hear that in my voice. <clears throat> so we're just making it work, huh? Yeah, I'm a little tired, but that's, you know, because I'm not feeling well and 100% and all the meds and everything. But anyway, um, <laughs> I babysit him most of the day. And then when he goes home, I'm, I have to go run to Trader Joe's for some oat milk. And I'm just going to come home and sit today tomorrow the housekeeper is coming i have counseling when those things are not going on or don't need my attention i'm just sitting upstairs crocheting i just yeah i miss walking a lot but right now the pollen is just insane so at least where i'm concerned all right i'll be back hey, thomas went home a little bit ago i just got done getting a couple of grocery things that we needed from trader joe's and some more cough drops because it's a thing. Uh, I'm gonna go home now and uh, just sit on the couch and crochet. Evidently talking to, chatting with people as I wait in line at the store as, as I do. I don't know about you guys, but you know. Um, everybody is having huge allergy problems here right now because it's, starts to dry up and get warm so things start blooming but then we get more rain so and it gets cold so things go dormant and then it gets warms up and they start blooming it's a, the whole thing nature's confused i'm confused too anyway all right that's it for the minute i'll be back I filmed all that and the camera was not good morning it's about a quarter to 12. uh it is wednesday june 5th i think um our friend Letty's downstairs cleaning and I got done with counseling a little while ago and I'm doing about an hour or so of babysitting today uh, because both the kids ended up with work meetings today so Junior is on his way over and we'll stop whatever else I was going to do and do that for a little bit and probably then go back to crocheting. My asthma and allergies are better today. Thank you Hall's Cough Drops. They work like great. I get the sugar-free uh, lemon honey menthol when it's really bad that's what I, I go back to those all the time anyway I don't know about other asthmatics but control the coughing you control the wheezing you control the not being able to breathe so anyway I still look a little tired but I did get some sleep last night so all right grandson will be here any minute and he and I will just sit up here out of Letty's way and watch baby shark <laughs> again and uh yeah stay out of her way i'll be back hey, weird bumpy camera angles but you know that's what happens when we're out for a quick walk with the grandson um should oma be outside after having a bad asthma week maybe not but we have paul's cough drops on door on board and water and all the things we're good we're just going to go for a quick walk, basically around the corner. And we got the mail while we're out. He's too heavy for me to just go get the mail while I'm holding him. So, yeah. Anyway, we'll get a few steps in and I'll be back. I don't think I've vlogged all day. It is Friday, June 7th at 4.29 p.m. It's been kind of a busy day. All the last couple hours, I'm just watching YouTube and in between videos doing laundry and stuff we are um and i don't mind telling you because you won't know about it until we get back but we're going out of town just for an overnight 
um, tomorrow, so I got a lot of chores to do before then. The kids um, and grandson are also going out of town for something different to a different part of California uh, for an overnight. Um, so I was helping them with some stuff. Just been busy, busy, lots of little stuff. But I did make time to get myself a pedicure because, you know, it's pretty good if I do say so myself. Haven't one had one of those in a while. That was nice. But anyway, I am working on some last minute laundry while I'm watching another video. Bob will be off work in a little while and then we're going to go meet um, adopted son-in-law Brian for dinner and go grocery shopping so we can get that done. So, yeah. <clears throat> in the meantime, you know, allergies, asthma, it's still a thing. This is my best friend right now. This is my inhalers. So I'm going to sip on some iced tea and probably eat some more cough drops and, you know, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It's about 9.30 a.m. on Saturday, June 8th. We are ready to go um, to the airport, flying to California for an overnight celebrate Bob's brother's retirement. Um, yeah, ought to be fun. Of course, I'm bringing my crochet bag and then a couple of little overnight bags. We're bringing a couple little overnight bags, so. Anyway, don't need too much because we won't be there too long, but yeah. New linen dress, founded at Costco in Canada. Very comfortable with and it has pockets. Kind of love that. Anyway, I will take some photos where I can, share what I can. I will be back. up here really quick because there's still people downstairs and don't want to invade my brother-in-law's space but we're at his house we'll be here overnight it's been a fun day it's been a fun week i hope give you guys some ideas about how to squeeze your creativity into your everyday life and have a happy calm peaceful existence most of the time it's just not possible 100 percent, but you know what i mean if you have questions comments or concerns leave them down below relevant links ways to support the channel, all in the video description. Check it out. Most important thing besides like, share, and subscribe, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye guys.